So today we're going to be taking a look at more forgotten assets for Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm really enjoying this series, the mystery series. I'm not going to be limiting the video to five things as well. We're just going to be covering whatever I can find because I've really been digging around lately. And I've never covered these things in this video today ever before on the channel. So these are completely new details to this channel. And I don't think I've really seen them anywhere else apart from the videos that posted these things from the files in the first place. And a few episodes ago, I talked about Jetpack Cargo, which was a game mode for Battlefront 2, a limited time game mode, which is no longer in the game, but it basically was like cargo from Battlefront 1, where one team would have to deliver the cargo to the other side and vice versa, but it was with Jet Troopers only. And there was a bit of a disaster at launch with the Jet Troopers for the Imperial side, because you can see on the front cover of Battlefront 2, these are the Jet Troopers from Battlefront 1 for the Imperials and they're just stormtroopers with jetpacks on their back which isn't canon a lot of the fans picked up on this and obviously EA replaced them with the current Imperial jet troopers which originated from Star Wars Rebels but there was another skin not just for the Imperials but for the Rebels as well which I'm going to get on to. The Imperials originally had this Star Tours look which Star Tours is a Disney ride a Disney theme park if my research is correct and they were going to have this paint job which I think looks really really cool and I'd love to see it as a skin for the Jet Troopers considering we're getting reinforcement skins as well. So with this being present in the files two years ago these two skins come from 2017 I'm not sure once again if they're in the files at this point but they were in the files so the assets are out there somewhere this would be a really nice skin for the Imperials but like I said the Rebels have also got a different jump trooper skin however there's a bit more of a mystery behind this one hence why it's in this series so i've also spoken about in the past the original plans for the sentinel class and all that was originally in the files for the sentinel class was the art trooper for the republic and the rebel pilot for the rebellion so the rebels had their sentinel class in the files and like i said rebel pilot so that's there that's on the table but remember the Rebel Honor Guards from Battlefront 1, and these are also in Episode 4 as well. These, uh, their job is basically to, you know, make sure Princess Leia's okay and guard her. And yeah, these guys were actually in the files as well as Jet Troopers from as far as I can see. Now, I don't know if I want to believe this one just as much. They may just have been placed on the Jet Troopers for the sake of them not really being assigned to any specific class. But at the same time, they wouldn't have been for the Sentinel because they already had the Rebel Pilots. So was the original plan for the Honor Guards to have them as Jet Troopers? And I wouldn't put this past them because in Battlefront 1, we had Imperial Royal Guards, you know, the Red Guards, those guys carried heavy T-21B blasters around, so I wouldn't put this past them. However, I do kind of like the idea. Yeah, it's a bit crazy, but the Rebel Jump Trooper in the game right now is pretty dead, and if the only skins we ever get for that is like human skins, which I could see them doing different faces, then it's not too interesting, whereas Honor Guards, yes, they're still human, but they've got these really nice helmets, their outfits are very smart, and I'd love to see that in the game. So what about these two skins as different Jet Trooper skins? They're both in the files, or at least were, so it's a possibility. And I thought I'd throw this bonus one in there, Ewok Hunt. The original map, the Ewok Village, it's so dark in Battlefront 2, obviously purposely for the game mode, you can't see where you're going at all, but when this was first added, it was also found in the files that they were working on this specific map for Blast. And when a map comes to Blast, it usually comes to Heroes vs Villains as well, usually at the same time, or it can be a different time as well. Now this would be really interesting because I'm curious to know, especially if it was to come for HVV, would they keep the lighting the same or would they up the lighting a bit? I think it would be really cool if this came for HVV and it was really dark and then you saw someone running towards you with a lightsaber. That would be really, really epic. But it was originally in there for Blast. This hasn't been released to the game, obviously, which is unfortunate, but I'm more hyped about the possibility of this for HVV, considering they've at least worked on it at some point for Blast. HVV would be very interesting for this as well. I'd love to just see it completely pitch dark like it is now. Maybe lightsaber heroes only. Imagine that on this map, because Blast the Heroes Day may be a little 
disadvantage, let's say. But we're going to leave it there, guys. Just want to say quickly that if you are on PC and you have access to the Battlefront 2 files and you want to help out with future episodes, feel free. Just let me know in the comments section and I'm sure we can sort something out. The guys who used to work on these videos for me have since moved on. So if you want to help, it'd be greatly appreciated. If not, it's absolutely fine as well. And anything that you regard as a mystery for Battlefront 2, whether it's content, a dev comment, anything at all, please tell me in the comment section and I'll keep these mystery videos coming because everybody who watches them really seems to enjoy them and they are some of the most fun videos to make in general. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. I do hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.